All right, let's take a look at this welterweight tail of the tape. Elijah Dorsey, 22 years old, 5'9", weighing in at 167.6 pounds. Joseph Chen, 19 years old, 5'9", weighing in at 170.8 pounds. We're going to kick things over to our head official, Gabriel Martins. And let's begin the action. We talk about styles. We talk about, um, you know, well-rounded. That describes this match to me. These guys both love taking people down, both submission hunters. They can do it all. They can sweep, they can leg lock. I'm very excited for this match. Yeah, me too. Um, I, I, I would believe, I'm, Joseph has some good takedowns. I would believe that Dorsey's a little bit, has a little bit more advantage here. Unless unless uh, Joseph Chen's gonna hit duck unders or anything like this. There's a nice little single up to the body into an underhook. Easily defended. Elijah Dorsey, he's got that who's number one submission win over Ivan Herrera. The move that he called the Dorsey Lock or the Thunder Lock. He's also the 2023 ABCC East Coast Trials winner. And he says there's a 65% chance of the Thunder Lock being hit here today. <laughs> you see Master Lloyd Irvin in the corner of Elijah Dorsey. Well, that's a tough, that, that, that means he's thinking he's going to get to the back of Joseph Chin. So, I think his best, if that's his game plan, it's best off the feet. That was a beautiful nice. inside trip. That was such a great timed inside trip. It just made me eat my words, Ricardo. Yeah. That was a great, that was beautiful, absolutely flawless. You're pretty good at calling things, but yeah. you missed that one, Sean Williams. That was beautiful. Here comes that, yeah, you gotta watch that high arm look now. You walk the legs up with that scoop, he had a good angle. He was deep in the guard was Joseph Chen. So you also got to watch holding your guard too long. Closed for too long if you're Elijah Dorsey. He's going to get you in some leg locking troubles. Joseph Chen representing B team. He actually has one who's number one win over Derek Rayfield where he hit the Z lock. So he's got a. So both men one and zero, oh, and who's number one? Joseph Chen, actually the breakthrough athlete of the year for the Flow Grappling Awards in 2023, and the first place at the ADCC European Trials. A little safer approach here for Joseph Chen to bring those arms in the middle instead of standing up with the arm on the ground. Some some players have the, that arm lock down to a science when they're with that over hook on that arm. Well, I'm Mika Galvan style, right? So you stand up with an well, overhooked, an arm lock can come out of nowhere. Much safer to have those hands on the inside like he's doing now. Just trying to break that posture from the close guard, bringing Chen in. Now he has an underhook on the right side, so if he starts moving towards that hip, looking to creep out to the back. Or walk the legs up onto this other side for, for that arm. Attempts in the leg there. Chen recovers. Gets right back into the close guard of Elijah Dorsey. Joseph Chen has got quite the social media following. People are really trying to study his game. He's just very, very well-rounded in all aspects of jiu-jitsu, of submission grappling. That talented young man. Yeah. See if he puts that little left hook in. Well, now he's got an underhook. That near underhook, that allows him to keep this position right here. He should mount. He may mount right there. 
That that's all about that left underhook there in that position. That's why he can get his head so high. Now it's a right underhook that allows his head to stay high like this. And as long as you are comfortable in there with your head on the floor, he's got that far side underhook. His head is on the mat, and he can use his left hand to actually. Just push down the legs. Pummel that out, pummel the legs. Judge's that, favor. That's all from the blue. hook with the head on the floor. Very, Joseph, very nice pass. Joseph Chen's movements from the top position. If if you very want fast. right, if if you're a headquarters lover, that's where you should be when you get to headquarters. Your head shouldn't be up off the ground. It should be on the ground. It should be on the ground. Now a nice move to the back. With the arm trap as well. This is a dangerous position for Elijah Dorsey. Chen has got some really good submissions. Yeah, got his arm around that neck. Yeah, he's he's in big trouble as Dorsey right now. And that, there it is. Joseph Chen's yep. got the rear naked choke That's and it. gets the submission. Joseph Chen now 2-0 here at Who's Number One. Beautiful finish over Elijah Dorsey. Yeah, that, that was a beautiful performance, period. Yeah. Near picture perfect performance right there from Joseph Chen. The back take was so fast. Yeah. The rear naked sunk in seconds later. Just a very, very impressive submission win for Joseph Chen. This young man has a just an outstanding career ahead of him. As you mentioned, just so well-rounded. Let's take a look at that replay here. Watch this inside trip. Oh, boom. Boom. so perfect. Big Uchigari. Off that body lock. See it again, another angle. Yep. And then there's the K guard. He's used, he's so used to K guard, of course, but there's that underhook. There's that left underhook. Now he got put in close guard there, but now he's got the underhooks and he put his head forward and eventually got to the back here. We're gonna make a strangle. But if you're if, if you're out there wondering how to do that pass, it's it's because he has confidence in putting his head to the floor with these underhooks. That's you just have to train that. It's a very, very powerful pass. It doesn't look powerful in training. You probably get off balance a lot, but it's a very powerful position. The official decision, your winner via submission in the blue corner, Joseph Chen. Joseph Chen now 2-0 here at Who's Number One, climbing the rankings of his division. Big win over Elijah Dorsey. We're going to take it over to Kendall Rusing for a word with our winner. Big win here for Joseph Chen. And you said yesterday you had a little bit of a tactic coming into this match. You started eating bigger breakfasts to get ready. Is that you think what did it? For sure. I mean, despite the training and all the study, I think the breakfast was definitely what did it. Pancakes or waffles? Waffles every day. Maybe that's what did it. I mean, you know what Dorsey is a, is a pancake fan. So <laughs> I'll indulge it. So coming into this match, walk us through how you were feeling when you finally landed that amazing inside trip because you hit the mat so hard, you had a lot of back and forth, and then from there, a beautiful pass. What was going on through your mind in that moment? Yeah, so I mean, everything I did today was really part of the plan that we set out for the match. So did a fair bit of tape study on Dorsey, just trying to make sure I like, I'm defensively responsible on the feet because I know he's a very solid opponent. I mean, he won American Trials. I knew he has really solid wrestling. So this was something that I really tried implementing in my training, and I was happy I was able to show this off because in the past, I feel like my wrestling didn't look so refined. So being able to hit a nice takedown on a great opponent feels amazing. Yeah, I definitely heard our commentators were actually surprised on that inside trip because they know that Dorsey is really great on the feet, so it's amazing. Now, that being said, specifically wrestling, you guys are both going into ADCC later this year, trials champions. Is that a big focus on your with your game going into the rest of the year? So having my goal initially been ADCC, um, absolutely wrestling, turtle, everything has been a huge focus of mine, but now having pivoted to CGI and doing what Craig's doing, um, now the strategy is shifting mildly, but I still feel like I can benefit from a lot of the skills that I've gained during the preparation. Awesome, we can't wait to see you the rest of the year. Congratulations again. Congratulations, Joseph Chen, impressive performance. Guys, we're gonna go to a commercial break, but when we come back, our flyweight